You're nervous because you think it's gonna be bad news. No, I'm excited because I know it's gonna be good news. Don't you think we deserve a little good news for once? Huh? What's wrong? I don't know. Is it the baby? No. No, I just, um, I, 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 I don't know. Something happened. I can't explain it. D do you want to sit down or something? No, sweetheart. It's, um, it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. Mr. Donovan. Yeah. We're going to need a statement. I'll meet you at the station. I'm probably just anxious because of all this waiting. Are you sure? Honey, I should be fussing over you, not the other way around. <sighs> hey, we two conies look after each other. Amen to that. Have I told you that I am so proud of you? You are so brave and so strong. I get it all from you. Oh, no. You're my hero, honey. And this baby is going to be so lucky to have a big sister like you. This baby will be lucky just to have you as a mom. <laughs> Remember how you always said it was sort of easier when it was just the two of us? Yeah. I always thought you were right. And, and I was totally cool with how things were when I was growing up. But now it's kind of cool to be part of a big family. And it's even better now that you won't have to go through having this baby all alone. Amen to that, too. Why can't you just admit it? That you've used every excuse you could think of to keep well, Janet and Liberty I here because you want them to be any here. excuses, Carly. It doesn't matter if I like it or not. Living here is their only option right now. They, they got nowhere else to go. What? what about a hotel? They could stay with their father. They could live in the house that Nessie bought Why for them. Is it wrong? Make sure that my baby's protected and safe. It's not. I just want you to admit the truth that you want Janet to live with you because you still want to be a part of her life. Okay. Just All right, you're right. Me. I do. Just so we're clear, I'm not apologizing for wanting to take care of my unborn child. Well, nobody is asking you to apologize. I just don't want you to act like you've been forced into this situation. You chose to have oh, them leave. What choice did I have? Jan is feeling overwhelmed with everything right now with Liberty's cancer, her father having a heart attack, oh. Dusty being shot. So yes, I feel a sense of responsibility for Janet, even though we are divorced. Please don't list for me the trials and tribulations of Janet. I've heard it all. And why are you so completely unsympathetic? Ah, Jack, there comes a time when enough is enough. Snyder. Yeah, I, all right, I'll be right there. I have to go. Of course you do. Carly. It's my job. I know. I know. It just seems like it's always something these days. We'll finish talking about this later. Maybe you could think about what we've already talked about. Carly, I know this isn't easy for you, and I know I'm asking a lot. Yeah, you are. But it is not going to be like this forever. Oh, because it'll be so much easier when Janet actually has the baby. Carly, we've been through so much, you and I, and we have always found a way back to each other. Yeah. That's why this is so frustrating. Just, it feels like we're not gonna make the last step. No, we will. Soon. I promise. Just hold on a little while longer, okay? I won't be long. Go. Do what you gotta do. I guess it was my idea to go after the guy who shot me. You're not sure? Rocco knew where to find him. I didn't want him coming with me because he just had a heart attack, but he insisted. Then it was his idea to take along, not yours. He said he was up for it. He felt strong. Am I done? I gotta make a call. 
Okay, the nurse at the station said the doctor had an emergency, so it'll be a few more minutes. That's fine. I'm okay. Look at you all tranquil. When did you finally find Zen? Well, if nothing else, cancer has taught me to be patient. Well, can some of that rub off on you, please? <laughs> oh, is that Dusty? Why aren't you gonna take it? I don't feel like talking to him right now. Is something wrong? Nothing you need to worry about. It's a long story. I think we have time. What did he do? What did you do? Oh, we're just having some issues right now. It's, you know, I'm, I'm a little mad at him. Well, avoiding him's not gonna solve anything. You and Dusty are great together. Whatever's wrong, work it out. Later. No, now. Call him back, I mean it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey, Janet. What do you want? I'm kind of in the middle of something. I need to see you. Can you come to the police station? Why are you at the police station? I don't want to tell you over the phone. Well, I'm with Liberty, so whatever it is, it's going to have to wait. I can't wait. Please. All right, I'll see what I can do. What's wrong? It's Dusty. He's at the police station. He wants me to meet him there. You should go. Well, I don't want to leave you alone. Mom, I've survived much worse than waiting for the doctors by myself. And look at that, I won't even have to. Here come reinforcements. <sighs> Hi, guys, what are you doing here? Uh, we bumped into each other in Old Town and thought we'd stop by to see what the doctor had to say. Well, nothing yet. I'm still waiting to see him. Well, you want some company while you do? You bet. My mom was just leaving. Right, Mom? Are you sure you're okay with this? Go. Dusty said it was important. It better be. Come here, you. Mm. See you later. Okay. Janet. Sorry, just me. You know what happened? Pretty much. If I knew how weak Rocco really was, I wouldn't have let him come with me. But you did let him. He said he was up for it. Did it ever occur to you that he was wrong? That maybe you should have let the police department handle this? The man is dead, Dusty, because of you and your bad decisions. I know. You're gonna have to face Janet and tell her. Just call her. She's on her way. Well, I'm gonna process the shooter, but this is far from over. Look, I feel bad enough, you know? Bad enough? About what? Dusty, what's going on? But before I go and spring for a first-class airfare for all of us, you want to tell me what Jack's done now? This better be important, Dusty. I was just at the hospital with Liberty. We're waiting on some very important test results. Couldn't wait. OK, so what is it already? After you left the hospital, I stayed with your father. He told me he wanted to make things right. He did. You were there when he apologized for treating me so badly when I was pregnant with Liberty. He was talking about my shooting. Well, why would he talk about your shooting? He said he wanted to help me find the guy who did it, that he owed it to me. More important that he owed it to you. Well, you didn't listen to him, did you? I mean, he's in no condition to go out and play a hero. It was about justice. Was? He knew where to find the guy. No. No, 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 no. It was Uncle Ralph who sent that guy after you, not Pop. Well, your father set things in motion with Ralph. Set things... No. No. I know it's hard for you to accept, Janet, but it's the truth. That's why he wanted to set things right. Set things right how? He was feeling strong. We went after the guy together. What? He just had a heart attack. He was in no condition to go after any guy. He said he was up for it. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't believe you. I'm going to go to the hospital and find my dad. He's not in the hospital, Jeff. Then where is he? Well, what is going on? Sit down. You're scaring me. Your father was a hero. You got him. 
I don't care about any other guy. Where's my dad? Gone. No. No. I tried to resuscitate him. Janet, it was oh too God. late. It was just too late. Oh, my God.